Did I call it or did I call it? Oh my goodness. So if you haven't heard, Steven Crowder is getting a divorce. Yes, that is correct. Steven Bussy Crowder is finally getting a divorce and it's absolutely hysterical. This is something that has been in you know the making for quite some time. I called this a long time ago. People on the inside that I've talked to have told me, yo, this is what's going on, this is what's happening. So I've known about this for quite some time. Even if you didn't know about this, okay, a person with an IQ above room temperature could, could clearly see that this dude doesn't like women. Steven Crowder has dressed up as a woman more than he has dressed up as a man. Okay, can we call a spade a spade? This, this is one heterosexual male who just loves dressing up in drag, okay? He dresses up in drag more than actual drag queens, okay? He comes up with reasons to put on makeup and wear uh, skin tight leggings, okay? <laughs> can we stop, can we, st can we stop it, bruh? Can we stop it? This man is a homosexual. That's what he is. Afraid of Mr. Hyde rearing his ugly bisexual head. That was a that was a short face. Bisexual head. That was a that was a short face. Bisexual head. Okay, and there's nothing wrong with that, Stephen. If you like men, then just you know it's okay, bro. Come out the closet. The Republicans, they're all down for it. Hey, they got Caitlyn Jenner. They got Blair White. They got Dave Rubin. Dave Rubin was about to have a surrogate. Okay, so listen, you'll fit right in with the Republicans. Okay, you don't have to worry. You don't have to hold this shame on your back. All right, you just gotta just be free, fam. Just be free. Just be yourself. Okay. But the funny part in all of this situation, because really it's not really funny, because what this man did is abysmal. It's disgusting. Him, as a, a blatant homosexual man, uh, married a woman, a heterosexual woman, and then pretty much was forced to have kids. He didn't want kids. And in fact, the argument that he gave for not wanting kids was actually like a prenatalist argument, which cases some people use for like abortion. I'm afraid of having children. I'm really afraid of having children. I said I, I don't like kids. That's not true. I like kids. Uh, that's a smoke screen. I kind of don't like sticky kids. Uh, what? But I'm afraid of having children. Deathly afraid because of thrusting them into a life that they didn't choose. Why bring this life into the, you know into this world with nothing but pain and sorrow? That's the argument that he was giving. Talking about I'm afraid to have kids and stuff like that. No, it's not that he was afraid to have kids. He didn't know how. That's the issue. He, he didn't know how it was going to happen because he doesn't like women. So I guarantee he's probably talking to Dave Rubin. Yo, how'd you, how'd this happen? Surrogate? Okay, so who is your person that you use? That's what he's thinking about, okay? I bet my life that is what Crowder was worried about. He was worried, how does a gay man have children? Like, that means I have to do the nasty with the female. Ugh. Now, in his video, which is hysterical because he's going through like the whole MGTOW, red pill, you know, manosphere. Oh my God, it's just hilarious to see him just break down. Cause what he does is, you know, every, you know, every incel, every beta talking point of trying to blame no fault merit. Oh, this is, this is the law. That's what he keeps on saying. He keeps blaming the law, right? Not the fact that, um, maybe there was something in the marriage that you weren't delivering. I don't know, maybe the fact that you're a closeted homosexual, maybe that's, maybe that's why she wants to get a divorce. And she wanted something else for her life. That's not my choice. She simply wanted out and the law says that that's how it works. And no, this was not uh, my choice. My then wife decided that she didn't want to be married anymore. And in the state of Texas, that is completely permitted. Cause he makes it clear, he's like, um, you know what, she's the one that's doing this. And you know what? The law doesn't agree with me. The law doesn't agree with me. But in today's legal system, my beliefs don't matter. In Texas, divorce is permitted when one party wants it, period. And I'm like, what are you talking about? The law doesn't agree with you. Like, would you want to force her in a marriage that she doesn't want to be a part of? Does that make any sense to anyone? Cause it doesn't make any sense to me. Like, how are you blaming the law for your inadequacies and shortcomings, huh? She doesn't want to be in the marriage and you're blaming the law because you can't force her to stay in the marriage? This is like some sick, cuckoo, like narcissist controlling, like abusive mentality, all right? That's what this is a sign of. 
But during this unhinged rant that he gives, he talks about, I want to make clear that it's not the children's fault. Why would it be the children's fault? <laughs> like, like, who was blaming the children? Like, what are you talking about? The children's fault? Like, what? What are you talking about, bruh? Nobody was blaming the children. No one even brought up the children. Then he goes on to say the line of the year, bruh. I picked wrong. <laughs> but one thing that is undeniable uh, in this case is that it's no one's fault but my own in that I picked wrong. And that's certainly not the fault of my children. Bruh, I had to replay that multiple times. Just rewind, rewind. Um, I picked wrong, okay? I picked wrong, all right? I, I chose a woman. Did anyone catch that? I thought that was funny. What do you mean you chose a woman to, to marry? As opposed to what? A man? <laughs> no one says I chose a woman to marry, okay? To dedicate my life to, that I love, and now the woman, the woman of my children. Bro, what are you talking about? Stop it. I know you chose a woman, I know, but your heart chose a man. That's what it is, huh? You, you. And to be honest with you, this man is either a uh, homosexual or he'll actually come out as a trans woman. That'll actually, that's honestly what I'm predicting for Steven Crowder. Either homosexual or uh, a, a trans woman. In which case, hey, it's all gravy, Davey. <laughs> it's all gravy, Davey. Just stop parading yourself around as some heterosexual man talking about, oh, we gotta fight, let's fight and all this, we gotta stop fighting, stop it, bro, stop it, okay? Go, go have a little tea party with Dave Rubin and figure out what you're doing, okay? The funny, on top of the funny, on top of this stupid Sunday, uh, is that he tries to attack Candace Owen, and it's like, oh, please, Please attack Candace Owens. I am waiting for the fireworks. Cause he he clips, he edits in this clip of Candace Owens talking about, well, Steven is going through some things right now. So that's what blah, 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 right? We're so thinly veiled that I'm frankly surprised you didn't all guess immediately. Steven has a lot going on. I guess it's the best way to say it. He has a lot going on and that should be clear because people don't do stuff like this if there's not a lot going on in their lives. I would like to implore my audience and everybody that isn't paying attention to this situation not to condemn him, but to pray for him. Sometimes people need a prayer. Sometimes people need a scripture. You know, Stephen purports to be a Christian. I am unsure at this moment if, if it is my place to say more than that. You know, maybe if I feel in further defense, some things should be said, or maybe if I feel that the public has a right to understand certain circumstances. Now, he tries to say that was her hinting at him going through a divorce. Okay, that's a reach, my guy. Absolutely a reach. Because that was definitely on the top of everyone's head, given that, you know, we know that you're a hemisexual. Um, so yeah, I would assume that a woman, right, who wants a heterosexual man, probably doesn't want to get married to a he homosexual man. That's all I'm saying. So yeah, one plus one does equal two in that regard. Now Candace comes back, you know Candace. Candace is a white woman in a black woman's body, okay? Can we be honest here? She is. She has been passed around uh, by the Jewish community more than a dreidel at a, at a party, okay? <laughs> I don't know what to tell you. <laughs> this girl, boy. One thing I'll give her is that if you've employed her, she will fight for you, okay? You remember Larry H. Parker? She is the Larry H. Parker of like, <laughs> of employees. <laughs> she went to bat for TPUSA, Dennis Prager. Now she's on to Dennis, uh, 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 what, what's his name? Da Daily Wire. I don't know where else she's gonna go. And she is like a pit bull, bruh. Just a pit bull, just like a typical Karen, right? Typical Karen. She went after Blair White, Tommy Lauren, She's gone after, uh, uh, who else? Uh, Cardi B, if I'm not mistaken. Oh my God, she's gone after everybody. So I hope, I hope he picks a fight with Candace Owens. This would be delicious. Oh yeah, she went after Kim Klasick, y'all remember that? Candace is dirty, dirty, okay? Very dirty and very petty. And she does it like a white woman. That's what she does. That's her whole purpose in life, is to emulate a white woman. And she's doing very well. Very well, mind you, okay? Very well. Has built nothing and, but is getting paid to just talk. That, that is a white woman to a T.
all this, it's all fun for me. It's all humor. I, I'm glad there's some, some fun back into the political arena, bro, because it was getting morbid, bro. It was getting dreadful. I was like, oh, there's nothing going on here. But now I got some excitement in my life. Oh, man, I hope, I hope Steven Crowder and Kundis Owens go at it. Oh, it would be amazing. I would love, love to see it. Steven, I wish you the best. Okay, I wish you the best. Um, maybe uh, you, you, you'll figure it out, bro. You'll figure it out. You'll land on your feet and on your, and on your hands, you know, like you usually do. <laughs> Anyways, guys, that's the video. Let me know what you guys think. Whether or not you believe Lucas, Lu Lu Steven is not a homosexual, all right? He's, he's not. He's a God-fearing man, and this woman did him wrong. He did her. She did him wrong. Or Van Bleek, sure, sure, Jen, absolutely, 100%. Yeah, I guess that bisexual, that evil bisexual Dr. Hyde is coming back, huh? Mm -hmm. uh, nevertheless, if you happen to disagree with the video, you're more than welcome to call in during disagreement days, all right? But I bet you won't because you're a coward. Uh, it's typically held Friday through Sunday. There'll be a number on screen. You call in, we duke it out. Either or, hope you guys enjoyed the video. Feel free to like, share, comment, Subscribe. Let me know what you guys think of this and all that fun stuff. Till next time, guys. Be amazing. Bisexual head. That was a sm that was a short phase.